By the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. Welcome to the sixth Sunday of Easter. Our gospel reading is taken from John chapter 14, beginning to read at verse 15. If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, because he abides with you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned. I am coming to you. In a little while the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, because I live. You also will live. And that day you will know that I am in the Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me. And those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. This is the word of the Lord. Jesus is preparing his disciples for the day when he will no longer be with them as a physical presence, an event we remember on Ascension Day this coming Thursday. One of the hardest things to do is to part from those we love, and it must be even harder when we have to part from someone on whom we have relied. The disciples had shared a common life with Jesus for three years. They had seen great things he had done and found that they shared some of his gift for healing and proclaiming the world and the kingdom. Jesus had conquered death, and many of the disciples probably assumed he would therefore be with them forever. He would still be with them, however, but not in a way that they expected or understood. He was to be with them in his spirit, the Holy Spirit, the spirit of love and truth, which comes from the Father and the Son, the third person, of the Divine Trinity. COVID-19 pandemic reminds us as we are deep down spiritually human beings, whether we realize it or not, and makes us recognize that coronavirus is right here at the face of our global community. It's a challenge that requires both global cooperation and unity, a component of compassion to alleviate suffering and a greater responsibility to exercise our faith to witness divine intervention. Our current situation unites people in an emotional and spiritual sense by providing opportunities to care for each other, just like the disciples had to learn to do and be men for others. And that is true for us today, of course, Jesus is no longer here. He is in heaven where he is constantly praying for us. But the absence of Jesus in our lives does not mean the absence of God in our lives because God is still with us through his Holy Spirit as Jesus embodied God during his time on earth, bringing comfort, help, guidance, and healing to the people he met. So God is embodied to us today through his Holy Spirit, so we can be confident in God's presence with us, always dwelling within each one of us. We have become united with Christ through our salvation. Jesus says in verse 17, You know him because he abides with you and he will be in you. The Holy Spirit is God present with us in the here and now, transforming us and growing us so that we can be a blessing to others and to the world. The Holy Spirit is God with us as a Christian community, empowering us and growing us in the faith. 
as the Holy Spirit increasingly dictates our life, so we will increasingly become obedient to God's will for our lives. Notice what Jesus says here, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. Love for Jesus is not about our emotions. Love for Jesus is about following his call in our lives and living in obedience to him and how we live with each other. But how do we obey Jesus? How do we live a life of devotion to him? We must rely on the power of the Holy Spirit at work within us, changing us, transforming us and drawing us closer to God. The more we let go of our own lives and allow God to work in us, the more devoted to Jesus we will become. The Holy Spirit in our lives is the only way we can live out our calling as Christians. And the more we allow the Holy Spirit to work within us, the more we will know what it is to have life in all its fullness within the love of God. And that is why Jesus said to say to his disciples, even though they did not understand him, he said in John 16, It is your advantage that I go away, for if I do not go away, the Spirit will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Jesus is no longer here. He has gone and left us. Praise God for that. Because if Jesus were still with us, we would not know the power of the Spirit in our lives and we would not know what it is to live the Christian life. Amen. Let us pray. Loving and mysterious God, thank you for loving us so much that you send advocates to guide us through our lives. Thank you for the sharing of your Son with us, providing us an example of the embodiment of love we seek to emulate. Help us to be obedient to your commandments and open to the guidance of the Spirit so that we may continue living your legacy of love for generations to come. Amen. God bless.